Hey guys, it's me. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about what my Christmas and my New Year's was like. So, Christmas here is very, very different compared to America. Um, in my opinion, Christmas here is just kind of a reason to decorate things all cute and play cute music in the stores. They don't really celebrate it. And um, before I came, I like understood that they don't celebrate it like we do in America. But the thing is, is that I was told it was more for couples. But I didn't see anything that was like couples themed at all, or you know, hinted towards it being more for couples instead of like a family thing. Um, one thing they do do for Christmas is usually your family will buy a Christmas cake and you eat that. And my family did that. We actually had a Christmas party at um, my host dad's office because he's a dentist. And so um, we had a party there, but it had like nothing to do with Christmas, but um, it was a party for Christmas supposedly. And um, another thing that they do do, which I think is really odd, is they order KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, for Christmas. And I guess it's like a really big deal. Like people, I've heard that people will order their KFC like months in advance to get it on Christmas. Like I guess like you really want to have KFC on Christmas. So that's interesting. I just thought that was kind of funny. But um, I had school on Christmas, which I was so upset about. Um, I went, obviously, because I wanted to experience something different, because after all, I'm here to experience something very, very different. And so I went, but it we didn't celebrate at all at school, which I was really, like, I was hoping that we would celebrate something at least, but we didn't at all. It was like, um... It was just regular school, except it was the last day of school before winter vacation, which I thought was kind of like ridiculous, like could have made it just one day longer and we would have had Christmas, but it was okay. Um, I said like Merry Christmas to a couple of my friends and that was basically all the celebration there was at school. So that was, um, I was a little bit upset about that because I didn't feel Christmas, like Christmas after all. But um... I came home, the, we have a tree that was decorated, and I sang some songs and, you know, stuff like that. So I kind of made my own little Christmas for myself. So that was Christmas. It was very different. And for New Year's, it is also very different. Um, in my opinion, like, in America, you know, New Year's is more just like a day to kind of like party. And then Christmas is, you know, stay with your family. Well, it's the exact opposite here. Christmas is for partying, New Year's is for family. And, um, so, yeah, I spent the day with my family on New Year's, and it was really, really fun. We ate, like, all day. Like, for an entire day, we ate food, and it was awesome. And we sat on the ground and ate. And, um, it was really cute, because my grandma was there, and it was so cute. She, like, she told me, she's like, I'm your Japanese grandma. She's like, if you move to a different house and there's a different grandma, I'm still your Japanese grandma. And so I thought that was so cute. And um, something they do is they send everybody they know um, New Year's cards. And so I got a lot of cards from my classmates. And I can actually show you those. Here, hold on. Let me go get the cards. Okay, so I have some cards here that I got from uh, all my friends. And they're all really cute. And this year is the year of the snake, so a lot of the cards have um, snakes on them. This one is really cute. This is from my best friend Tomoka, and I love this card. It's so cute. And this is from my friend Kaho, and that's her dog, and his name is Anzu. <laughs> and this is from my friend Maki, so it's cute. And this is from... Akari. <laughs> She's really nice. I really like her. And then I have this from my friend Kaori. And this is from my friend Kasumi. And so you get little cards like that. And um, so that was like a really nice surprise. I thought that was so sweet. And then also another thing that they do is they give the children money. And I saved the little envelopes that mine came in. So like this was from my host family cute little um cute little envelope i like them and this okay this is from my last host family and you know their family and so they were here and my dad my last host dad is hilarious he 
he was like, it's really hot in here. So he took off his shirt, and he kept taking off shirts, and he had like about five layers of shirts. And then, then, on his, his man area, his um, man boob area, he had two of these taped on to his man boob area. And Alicia and I had to like take them off, and it was really, really funny, and so... That was just hilarious, I thought. And then he had one taped to his butt for my older host sister to get. So that was very fun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was really funny. And then, um, this was from my grandma. I like it. It's so cute. It has little people on it. It's adorable. So that is the tradition. And, um, there's lots of cool decorations. Like, everywhere in the sinks and stuff, my, um, my host mom put little, um, New Year's decorations, and New Year's in Japanese is Oshogatsu, so New Year's, I don't know, and um, so yeah, that was my New Year's, and um, I drank, so that was fun, they like gave me drinks, and they're like, it's New Year's, you have to, and so I had a little bit to drink, and um, what else did we do, my, um, my host dad and my last host brother, they got really drunk and my host dad was like sleeping on the ground and then my last host brother was like sleeping in the office on the floor so that was fun <laughs> um and so yeah that was my new year's and oh another thing that we did oh my god i can't believe i almost forgot to tell you guys this i went to a shrine in the morning and we prayed and um it was really really beautiful because it's all snowy here and um Oh, I got a Lucky Charm there, which I will go and get. I'm sorry, hold on. So this is the Lucky Charm that my host dad brought me um, at the shrine. It's supposed to, like, if you're traveling, you should take this with you. It'll keep you safe, and this will give you good luck for taking tests and stuff like that. So I carry it in my purse now, um, you know, to keep me good luck. And I think it's so beautiful. It's all, like, woven silky stuff. It's pretty cool. I like it. And then another thing I did is they had this wooden box and you had to pull out a f oh, 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 I dropped it. it <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I cannot control myself. Okay. So you had to pull out one of these little fortunes and um, you open it up and it says a whole big thing about what your year is supposed to be like. And so um, my host parents said I'm supposed to have a lucky good year um, I forgot some of what they said, but I'm supposed to have a good year, so I'm happy about that. And a lot of people would tie theirs up on a rope, and I think that makes it, like, come true, but, um, I kind of wanted to keep mine, so I kept it. And, um, but the, the shrine was so beautiful, and you would throw a coin into the shrine, and I, th I think you clap twice, and then you pray. I think it could be wrong. It's either pray, clap twice, or clap twice, pray. But I think it's clap twice, pray. Anyway, so we did that, and it was just so beautiful. And I got my picture taken there, so I was happy. And, um, yeah, so that was my New Year's. Um, it was pretty different. I'm sorry that this video is kind of all over the place. I just, like, it's, like, it's the 7th now, so it was, like, a week ago. So, um, I don't have it all, like... It's not all fresh in my brain, even though it was only a week ago, but, you know, i um, still kind of thinking about it. But anyway, so yeah, that is my video. Um, please give me any questions or comments. I am totally welcome to that. Um, any suggestions for videos, definitely welcome to that. And please don't forget to subscribe because I'm so happy that you guys are subscribing. Um, that's just really awesome. And it does mean a lot. So thank you. I will talk to you guys later. And until next time, bye-bye.